The sorrel plant is a native from the East Indies, but is now widely distributed and cultivated in tropical and subtropical regions around the globe. It was allegedly brought to the New World by the slave trade and was recorded in Jamaica in 1707. The plant is known by different names, Roselle, Jamaican sorrel, Indian sorrel, Queensland jelly plant, sour sour, lemon bush, and Florida cranberry. In Jamaica, Clarendon, Manchester, and St. Elizabeth are the leading parishes in the production of sorrel. Approximately 1,000 tons of sorrel is produced in Jamaica annually. Traditionally, sorrel was only consumed during the Christmas season to the New Year season. And this is mainly due to the two varieties that were cultivated, the traditional red and the Manchester black. These varieties only matured and came for harvesting during the Christmas season or New Year season. However, things have changed. The demand for sorrel locally have increased tremendously along with the export market. Also, because of the development of various sorrel products, for example, liquors, sauces, jams, jellies, and even sorrel syrup, we have seen a marked increase in the demand for sorrel. Therefore, this bashment variety has done a great deal. Here we are in a field of bashment sorrel. Now this is the shortest of all three cultivars, reaching height to just under two meters. This cultivar has fewer branches than the other two cultivars. It's very interesting to note that this is a plant from which reaping has begun. And it, you know, it, it continues to grow to flower and to set fruit. Very important to note that when this fruit is removed here, another fruit will be set right here and lateral branches will also come as we have seen here. Here, this fruit, the fruit here has been removed but we can see a young one replacing it. And this is an outstanding feature of this cultivar of sorrel. Flowering begins within eight weeks from planting. And by three months after planting, farmers can begin to harvest their crop. And if the conditions are ideal, you can harvest it for up to between two to three months. And there are cases where farmers have reported that they have harvested um, this cultivar of sorrel up to four months from the time they reap the first fruit from the tree. This plant is very prolific, high yielding, and farmers can get yields of up to 18 tons per hectare. Here we are in a field of Manchester black sorrel. Just want to mention some of the outstanding features about this sorrel. First of all, as you can see the height, this sorrel is just over two meters tall. Right. Very tall indeed. And it can even go taller and the two meters. All right. In respect of planting, time of planting, we would plant this cultivar of soil between the months of April to June. This field was actually planted in May 2005. If you look at the fruits on the tree, the fruits here are pretty large indeed. 
And when you look at the color, exceedingly dark, a dark brown color. That's one of the outstanding features of this cultivar of sorrel, the Manchester black. Dark brown to blackish. When you look at the stem, the stem of the plant, it has a very dark brown to blackish color also. I must say that um, this cultivar is the tallest, but there's a, a major problem with it. Is that, um, is that it suffers severely from foot rot problems. When it is planted on soils that are not free draining, you know, it, we tend to, it, it tends to come down with a fungal problem known as foot rot, where the plant wills and will die. In respect of yields, we get between 14 to 15 tons per hectare. So you see that farmers can really make some money from this cultivar of soil. We now move to the third cultivar, the traditional red sorrel. The plant is tall and sprawling and goes up to two meters tall with many branches and leaves. The stem is red and produces large fruits, second to the Manchester black. The fruits are the easiest to be removed from the plant and when stripped, produces small seeds with the calyx light red in color. This is the most prolific cultivar, but the calyx is thin, resulted in a low yield of one kilogram per plant. Fruit can be reaped over a period of four to five weeks. The calyx has an excellent storage life, and the plants are more determinate in growth. There are certain ecological factors that sorrel require in respect of climate, rainfall, elevation, soils, and day length. Sorrel is a tropical crop which is susceptible to damage from frost and fog. The plant is intolerant to shady conditions and prefers open spaces with abundant sunshine. The crop is best grown in areas with a rainfall of 1,500 to 2,000 millimeters per year. The rainfall should be evenly distributed throughout the year. Plants grow best at elevation ranging from sea level to a height of 600 meters. The plants prefer a sandy loam to humus soil but will tolerate a wide range of soil type. A pH of 4.5 to 8.0 is preferable. Two of the cultivars, traditional red and Manchester black, are very sensitive to a day length period for flooring, 11 hours or less. This response by the plant is known as photoperiodism. <laughs> 